Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the temporal bone of the skull. Okay, so this is the temporal bone. It is split into a few parts. So the mnemonic goes, some zoos take stray monkeys. Okay, so the sum, the S, is for the squamous or the squamma. It's important because it has a groove for the passage of the middle temporal artery. Zeus is for the uh, zygomatic process. Here you'll find the zygomatic or temporal nerve, which is uh, a branch of the V2 of the trigeminal nerve. And then you'll also find the temporalis muscle attachment. Then you've got the T for the uh, tympanic part of the temporal bone. This is to do with the ear, stray, which is for the stylot process of the temporal bone. And here you have the attachment of the muscle. You have the stylohyoideus and the styloglossus muscles. And then finally, you've got monkeys and the M stands for stoic portion of the temporal bone. And here you've got the several attachments of muscles. For example, the occipitalis muscle, the sternocleidomastoid muscle, the splenius capitis, the longus capitis, etc. Okay, you have something known as the infratemporal fossa, which lies here. You've got a few structures passing through it. For example, you have the otic ganglion, you have the trigeminal nerve, middle meningeal artery, the auricular temporal nerve, you can have the maxillary artery, the branches, also the medial pterygoid muscle. For a better understanding, you can see here is the infratemporal fossa, just behind the zygomatic arch. And these are the contents, again, the otic ganglion, the artery, the branches, and the mesial pterygoid muscle. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. See you later. Bye.